Hey y'all, welcome to Susan's Country Living. I'm Susan, welcome to my kitchen today. Today I'm going to be making some wild violet jelly from violets that I picked from our yard, just foraged around. We have them that just grow through the grass wild. And it makes a really light, sweet, we think that it would be floral, but it really kind of has a little bit of a fruity taste. So uh, come on along and join me and uh, make some wild violet jelly jam. So what I've done, this is two cups of wild violets. They've condensed down because um, I put them in the freezer and I have added two and a half cups of boiling water to these two cups of wild violets. And we're going to um, put a lid on this and put it in the refrigerator overnight and make this wild violet tea that we're going to make our wild violet jelly from. Okay, so we have our violets that have been soaking overnight in the, the water. And my violets are the lighter violets, so it's not going to be, a, you know, a dark, dark color. It's going to be kind of gray, but when we add the lemon juice to it, it's going to change that beautiful color. So I've got a fine mesh sieve. I'm going to do that first, and then if I feel that I need to, I'll put it through a coffee filter because I don't want any sediment or material at all in there. So... Um, just gonna pour here. And I'm just gonna take the back of a spoon and just kind of mash to get all the liquid out. And I do see some sediment in there. So I'm gonna do this again. Um, with a coffee filter. On these flowers, having that little green calyx really doesn't matter. It's not bitter like with um, dandelions. It's kind of dirty, pristine. But it's just kind of a pale grayish purple. And that's what it's going to look like if you're using the, the lighter violets until you add that lemon juice. Okay, so we have our jars back here sterilizing in the uh, steamer, and I've got my lids here in some boiling water, and what we're going to do is we're ready to add the lemon juice to the, the violet tea. Now, you'll see that it's just a very light color, but when we add this acid, it will change that color. So let's watch. This is one-fourth cup of a bottled organic lemon juice. And it turns a beautiful pink color. So we're going to put this in a saucepan over here. So, okay. And then uh, what I have is four cups of sugar already measured out and I'm using a pouch of pectin. Okay, we're going to add a pouch of pectin to our uh, violet tea and lemon juice in the pan here. What it calls for. We're going to stir that pectin in. I like to use a spatula because it scrapes the bottom of the pan really well. I'm going to get that stirring there. We're going to turn the heat on and bring this to a boil. And once we get it to a rolling boil, we're going to add our sugar. And then we'll bring it back to a hard boil again, and then we'll jar it up. It's really quick and easy. Okay, so we have it to a boil, and now we're going to add our four cups of sugar. And we'll bring it up to a hard boil. It'll be time to jar it up. Dissolve that sugar in there. It's starting to come up to a boil. Once 
It's up to a hard boil. We'll let it boil one minute and then it'll be ready. There was some foam on the top. I think I'm just going to, it's not bad. Going to jar it up, and the foam will float to the top of the jar, and can be scraped off. Alright, so we have that going and that will that made eight of those um, eight of those four ounce little jars and this is what it looks like when it's finished. Beautiful pink color and has a light fruity, really fruity more than floral fragrance. So hope you make you some wild violet jelly in our neck of the woods. Violets are already gone. We have to pick them in February, but Maybe where you live, you could go out and forage for some. So if you uh, like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends. It's Susan from Susan's Country Living. Bye, y'all.